Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business, talking to Charles Avaris. He, too, another regular contributor on The Price of Business. I love it when we have a day full of our contributors because they bring such rich content and usually really excellent guests. And I, I think today is going to be no exception. And uh, Charles Avarez, the great work you do over there at Cornerstone Business Academy, uh, and that's cornerstonebusinessacademy.com. Taking business to the next level is more than just some pun or, or, or rather some cliche. I can, I've seen it firsthand, the kind of work you've done in helping improve the uh, sales and uh, marketing game of companies really of all sizes. And you've got uh, programs to accommodate businesses of all sizes. But tell us a little more about what you do there. Well, we operate under two assumptions. The first assumption is that a business owner gets into business to create financial independence for themselves and for their family or those who are that are important to them. And the second thing is that people actually want to come to work each day and feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. And oftentimes, you know, kind of our tagline is delivering freedom to business owners. So, you know, uh, we look upon uh, our job as at the end of the day is to increase the effectiveness of the team and also allow uh, great business owners like uh, Chris that we have with us today uh, to get their business to the next level. Chris, welcome to our show, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're glad to have you on. Why don't you start off real quick with your uh, elevator speech? <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, I founded SoftTech in uh, 1997 with a focus on technical software development. And so, um, you know, I was never really interested in working on ordinary software, and I saw a need for that type of business. Um, we're a Houston-based company with the largest development center in Eastern Europe. And our primary business is uh, contract software development. Very interesting. Go ahead, Charles. So if you can, tell us, Chris, what are some of the major challenges that your clients are facing, and how does your company specifically help address those challenges? Well, our customers right now are facing the challenge that the uh, tech industry is just moving very quickly, and you need to innovate or, or die. Um, they benefit from SoftTech's unique mix of expertise that unites both low-level mobile and web skills under one roof and allows our team to create end-to-end, you know, wearable tech and Internet of Things solutions, which require, you know, firmware and mobile apps um, that will manage and control the devices, as well as the necessary back-end. And so, you know, we've earned a reputation as a service provider capable of crafting these uh, leading-edge software solutions that other vendors just simply are not able to create. So by the way, what, by yeah, the, way the website is softtech.com, and that's S-O-F-T-E-Q dot com. And I encourage the listener to go check it out. Frankly, it's, it's, it's pretty enjoyable just to watch your, uh, your sideshow that automatically pops up. It's, but it's, <laughs> it's a true, true visual experience to check out. Charles, your next question. So if you can kind of give us an example, I mean, I know that your company has multiple applications at a company. Can you kind of give us an example of a client that you've uh, worked with in the recent in the recent past? And, like, you know, what was the issue? What did you do to fix it? And what was the ultimate outcome that the client could enjoy as a result of what you did for them? Sure, sure. Well, I mean, we do stuff for local Houston customers as well as, you know, um, the tech space. So we're working for customers like Nike, Epson, and, and NVIDIA. And so... We've done a lot of cool stuff for NVIDIA. We have a dedicated uh, uh, team working on next-generation camera stuff for them, but um, we also do enterprise apps, and they they had a need to just unite their 20,000 people that are spread out across, you know, essentially the world, and so we created a, a really nice internal app for their company contacts, and the app lets you find anyone in the organization, view their contact, and so see the hierarchy of the organization and with a scrollable org chart and the uh, actually locate exactly where they sit by dropping a pin on a, on a building map. Hmm, that's interesting. Talk a little bit about the verticals that you work with, with your clients. What verticals are they in? Well, it's a, a lot of them, of course, are in the tech space. Um, but we're also working um, in you know, medical, and we're working you know, in oil and gas, um, and we're working in you know, wearable tech uh, and Internet of Things primarily lately, and, and there's been a lot of drone interest. In the last uh, few months, yeah. So you got you got CIA and and uh, <laughs> TIA and those guys calling you up. No, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but there's a, obviously a huge corporate side, man. That is really we're in a very pioneering era when it comes to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, Charles. Next question. So, Chris, if somebody wanted to engage engage your company, you know, kind of what what was the process look like? In other words, you know, 
how would they reach out to you? What would you ask them? What's what's the process you would walk them through to ensure that you deliver the value that they're that they're seeking? Yeah, well, actually, it's really easy to get started with us. Whether you have a fully defined specification or just you know just an idea, and you need some help fleshing that out. Our quotes are free, so you know anyone can contact us with with, with their idea or project. And, and once you do contact us, you know through the website or through through the phone, we'll assign what we call an RSX manager to guide you through the process of gathering the requirements and creating their quote. So you know we, we very uh, interactive, you know hand holding experience where we you know just uh, really get down to exactly what they need and, and provide the best possible quote we can. Also talk about the size ranges of the companies that you work with and, and what your sweet spot is. What do you consider that to be? Yeah, well, um, it is, as you'd expect, a pretty pretty wide range. I mean, we work with companies that are just starting up, and we also work with, you know, Fortune 100 companies. So, um, you know, it's, uh, certainly it's nice to work with the big guys, but, you know, we're not, um, we're not opposed to, you know, working with the smaller companies. We know um, that, uh, that they'll grow, grow along with us, and hopefully we'll be, and providing services to them for you know some time to come. Yeah, very good, Charles. We're fixing to have to wrap it up. Uh, give us some uh, final thoughts. By the way, that website again is softtech dot com. S O F T E Q dot com. So, Chris, you've built uh, obviously a heck of a company. You've ad- obviously added a lot of value. So, for you listeners out there, if you're looking to streamline your operations and use technology to do so, I highly recommend using Chris because uh, he's not cookie cutter. Uh, like you said, he does custom apps to make sure that you're fully integrated between your your website, your back office, and uh, any customer-facing application. So, Chris, thanks for being part of our show. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Great uh, topics. And uh, as always, uh, Charles, wrap it up uh, with how people can engage with you. Simply go to cornerstonebusinessacademy.com, or you can email me directly at calvarez at cornerstonebusinesscoaching.com. Yep, it's fantastic stuff. I can tell you from firsthand experience that uh, what Charles does is amazing. And Chris Howard, thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here does show up over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, make sure you like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and you're listening to the price of business.